Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Nerd thinking can't solve relationship issues. <laughs> yeah, I said it like that. Yeah, nerd thinking. Now this ain't going against like someone who might consider themselves a nerd or more intellectual into different stuff, right? But I'm just saying, you got to think different if you're talking about relationship issues. Because one thing about nerd thinking, it tends to be, it tends to be more logical, more scientific, more measuring numbers and everything. And it's actually something that, you know, very important, you know, if you want to do stuff with science. But when you're talking about relationships, there's not a science to it for one simple reason. If there was, uh, if, no, one obvious reason why it's not. If there was a science to it, um, I wouldn't be discussing this now. I wouldn't need to discuss relationships. There wouldn't be no issues in marriage or in relationships. You know, it's just like you doing, it's like you uh, boiling something. You know, if you're going, you know water's going to boil at a certain temperature. You know what is going to freeze at a certain temperature. Science is science. You know, A equals A. You know, no matter what. That's science. It can be repeated. A, science, a, a true science experiment, a successful one, can be repeated no matter what. Is it like that for relationships? No. No, not at all. Is it like that? You know, I know some people up here, they be trying to measure everything and talk about, well, let me measure that jawline or if this person is this and put numbers in it. And no, it don't work that way. You know, anything that involves emotion is more of an art to it. That's why that term uh, by Robert Greene in his book was called the art of seduction. Not the science of seduction, the art of seduction. It should be called the art of game because I don't care who you are. I don't care what measurements you have on your face or something, or how tall you are, or how supposedly perfect you are. Oh yeah, that still, you know, that still is not going to really affect everything. Because see, here's the thing with relationships. They work, there's so many things going on. You know, there's so many things. Like, for example, somebody might think, well, he's this height, he measures this, he got this, he's making this much money, how come he's single? Well, a woman might look at him. First of all, I did a video before, and I said when women looking at a man's face, they're not just looking at, you know, the you know uh, physical stuff about it. Yeah, that gets them, but they also looking at his facial expressions. They looking for signs of emotion. Indeed, some players, they looking for the emotion in a woman because that's what they like really, uh, that's what they really dealing with. Like if you're dealing with a woman, a woman might like you for something you ain't even thinking about. Like uh, I always remember this one woman I dealt with. One woman I dealt with. Now I'm thinking, oh yeah, you know, this is, this was when I was younger. So, you know, the body was tight, had my educational background, had this future, everything. I, I'm thinking I'm the bomb. And the woman say, oh no, I like you because you uh, work with children and you go shopping for your grandmother. Because the woman was very family orientated. There was no science in that. She just, she was a very family orientated person. Or, uh, you know, success for her was getting a good husband, a couple kids, a nice house, and she was good. You know, there's no science to that or anything. You know, but see, some people be trying to solve it like that, saying, well, if you do this or uh, you count a certain amount of times, you do this. It, no, you got to throw all that out. You got to throw all that out because a woman... A woman liking a man, and even a man liking a woman, it could be some little things that like come in there that got nothing to do with science, no matter what. Indeed, there's been plenty of men who tried, and they say, well, Ram, I did this, I did this, and but still didn't work. It was like, you know, that's the nature of it. It's an art, you know? You got to do, I mean, you can do certain things, and then a woman checking out something you ain't even thinking about. Or it could be a situation where you know the woman, 
you might work with or be in the same social circle and you know, you're doing all this stuff and you wonder how come she ain't showing any interest, but then something minor comes up and you do and it's like, oh, she started looking at you differently. That's an art. That that's not that you can't, you might not be able to duplicate it. You know? And that's how you gotta look at it. You know, but see, you get some people thinking, well, how come this, this, they using the word should a lot. And I'm like, they don't do that. Because even with money, okay, let's use that money example. You know, you get guys saying, well, if you just have some money, you just have some money. Okay, if that's the case, why is it there are so many very men making a lot of money, making six figures or more, but they have to pay for sex? Shouldn't a woman just like them? Because when if, if a man paying for it at all, she doesn't like him. That's business. And in fact, really, when you get sex workers, anybody on that thing, they have disdain for the man who pays for it. Meanwhile, the guy who don't pay Jack <laughs> and the guy who looks at him funny, if they even suggest he pay anything. Oh, yeah, she on her knees for him. Think about it. There's a lot. See, I'm going to tell you what. There's different modes of thinking. There's different modes of thinking. Of course, there's the logical mode, which is very important. But then there's a more macro mode of thinking that looks at the entire picture. Like I've always said, like if you're presenting to a woman, she's looking at the whole picture. She ain't just looking at like the stuff on paper. In fact, one of my favorite things, it was a woman I was just dealing with just for sex. And she, you know, just for sex. And I was like, if I, I even told her, she run into somebody else and wouldn't be in a relationship, I was good with it. Right, because I just move on to the next one, and I only dealt with him maybe every couple of weeks at best. But she said she met this guy, he had all the stuff, but she just wasn't turned on by him because there's so much there. See, and when I say turned on, you never know what triggers a woman's sexuality. If it was a science to it, if it was a science to it, no one would have a problem, they would just apply the science. Think about it, I want y'all to really think about it. If it was that, if it was just a science tool, if it was just one, two, three, anybody could do it, it'd work for anybody. You know, it's like when some guys be, every now and then I get some guys and they say, well, what can I say to a woman to make her want to have sex? None. Because you don't know that particular woman. And it might not be anything you say any damn way. It might be certain facial expressions that turn her on. You know, like I, I, I use, uh, like people don't realize the one thing about sex, you have certain people, it could be certain things, certain things you do, they could have certain triggers. Like, and that's for men and women. Like I know if a thick thigh woman cross her, look at short skirt and cross her legs around me, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that turns me on. And the women the same way. You know what, it might be you walking hard or something that turns her on. Or, you know, a certain look you got on your face that turns her on. Notice I say a certain look, like you might have that, like that mean, intense look. You know, like you about to kill something, but she might get hot for it. You know, there's so many little things and each woman is different. If it was a science to it, if it was a science, if it was just logical thinking, all of that. You know, if it was just a one, two, three, like I said, we wouldn't have any relationship issue. Every single man who applied the science would have a woman. Every single man, because science is science. You know, that straight up uh, thinking, you know, one, two, three, step by step thinking works, would work. And it works in science situations. You know, like if you want to boil something or see the temperature or something, you know, but when you're talking about relationships where emotions are involved, feelings involved, uh, baggage involved. Like, let me use that baggage thing. And I've talked about this before, too. Like, say a woman has dealt with, say she's dealt with, uh, had sex with 10 men. 10 men. And I know some guys get upset when they think a woman's had that many men. It's like, come on, y'all. <laughs> come on, y'all. We're in 2021. You get women got 10 partners by the time they graduated high school. Look, say they, uh, say this woman though, she dealt with 10 men. All of them were like fine and, you know, consensusly handsome, muscular, tall, all, all, all the bells and whistles. 
And all 10 times she got dogged. All of a sudden she comes to number 11, she thinking back to what happened with the other 10. So she'll look for some guy who isn't as tall, isn't as in shape, look average looking or something. And women do that all the time. Where's the science there? They just look, and it's based strict, strictly on her baggage with these uh, handsome men. There's no science to that. You know, that's her. Because then the next woman who got dogged out by 10 men, she might still go for that 11th man who looks a certain way thinking this would be different. Where's the science? It's an art, you know? And it can be all over the place. What a man has to learn, what a man has to learn is, okay, what works for him on the most consistent basis? And then he has to constantly tweak it, you know? It's like, you, uh, it's like you're a writer or something. You know, you can't like just say, okay, if I write this, this, and this, this will work. You don't know. It's so many things go into it. So many things you ain't even thinking consciously about. So just wanted to share that. Just wanted to share that. Sometimes people, I'm going to say this, logical thinking is very important, but then you got three other modes of thinking and I had to do a separate uh, video for that, probably on my deep thought channel. And the more modes that you can employ, the better. The logical stuff is very important for things that require step by step, you know, and require signs. But it sucks for relationships. For relationships, you have to have the type of thinking that sees the entire picture. You, it's got to be holistic. It got to be thinking about every single thing. It got to. Like if you got, you want somebody, you can't just think, okay, step by step. You got to say, okay, what's her background? What's her imprint? What's my imprint? You know, what's her social class? What's her religion? You got to think about all of that, everything that could possibly affect how she's looking at stuff. It's very important. Or even what yourself is, what affects, what's motivating you to get a particular type of woman. So, always understand that. All right. So anyway, that's all I got. We'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.